be reviewing the 100 piece uh, bit organizer and the low profile organizer and the Milwaukee cabinet. So unlike my last review, I wanna go a little bit more into the details of the actual system right here. And I wanna show you some of the functions and some of the key components that make this a great system. First and foremost, I love this little lock right here. Um, I like it because if you're on a job site and you wanna make sure no one gets in your stuff, you can easily lock it. And I like how these, I like how this actually latches on. It's a way better system than like uh, the Makita system. I really enjoy like how sturdy it feels when it locks into place. I like how when you pull this latch right here, you can actually pick this door up and then the door will actually slide in to the system itself. So if you wanna keep moving things in and out or you're not constantly worrying about the door constantly slamming on you while you're working, trying to find something in there, you know what I mean? Hitting your hand or whatever, just being annoying. It's great that it actually locks in. Very, very convenient. As you can see, the depth uh, on this is about, from one of these ribs to the front is about 11 and a half, and the width is about 16 and a half inches inside. And the height is around 10 and a quarter, and about 11 and a half without the actual cabinet door being inside of the actual system. Now I'm going to do something that is going to piss off a lot of the Milwaukee fanboys and I'm going to desecrate this cabinet with some Makita tools. But I wanna do this so you can see how much you actually can fit in there. So first I'll start off with the Sawzall. I'll put that in there diagonally, a drill, fits right back there, and then impact. All these things fit in there very snug, very easy. I'll try some couple more things just to see what I can fit in there. Uh, I have a hole saw set. You can put that in the front. There you go. So that just kind of shows you how much space you actually have in this cabinet. Like I said before, this is perfect for uh, all your tool needs, has a lot of space. If you wanna put a saw in here, it could easily fit, fine tool, jigsaw. This is the perfect cabinet for a, for items you have to constantly get to. This is just like uh, the, the drawer system, but for your, um, your actual tools. Now, usually this is about $139, but I got this for $129 from the hardware store. So this is definitely a great Black Friday purchase. I've been waiting for these. I couldn't find these for a long time. So this was a great buy and I'm very, very happy with it. Now let's go on to the low profile uh, compact organizer right here. This thing is dope. It is only $29. It's great because inside here, it has its own individual trays. It has five of them. Now these trays are about three and a half inches wide and about an inch and an inch and three quarters. If you can see that, if we can focus for a second. Inch and three quarters depth. I like these because they have the individual dividers, but these dividers easily, these, these dividers easily slip out, which is great. It comes with four of these small ones and one of these large ones. Because the case is set up so that you have to put it back in that actual pattern. You cannot move these trays wherever you want because the case will not close properly. So this one has to stay right here and these have these obviously can be interchangeable but they all have to stay in this pattern. One thing I don't really like about this right here though is that this moves a lot. This is not this is not locked in like a lot of the other uh, pack out systems. For some reason that just doesn't want to sit in the housing as tight as some other things. So obviously, most likely nothing inside of here is gonna be so fragile that that jostling is gonna hurt it, but it's just kind of irritating that that doesn't lock in the same way like other uh, products do. Now let's talk about the 100 piece uh, shockwave set. This is decent. Um, obviously, it's just like the other one right here, except you get a whole bunch of bits. <clears throat> This right here is kind of flimsy once you take it off, so I just advise throwing this away. So this right here, this whole system right here, costs $90. That means that all these uh, bits are $60. Now, is that worth it? 
that kind of depends because sometimes you go to Home Depot and you can find some crazy good deals and sometimes you can't, so it kind of depends. A lot of these are nice because a lot of these uh, bits can go straight into an impact without needing a adapter, which is nice. And then you have some of those that have the multi-prongs that can do two different things. That's nice. Um, I just wish that this plastic right here that's holding all these was made of uh, actual like durable material that it wasn't just a toss away thing because I feel like after a little bit of wear and tear, you're just gonna toss this plastic and all these bits are just gonna be inside of these boxes and it's gonna be like a normal system. So I do like the fact that you are buying this and you get this box included, that's pretty nice. But overall, is this a great deal? I don't know, man. Like, you know, getting a 5 8 you know, socket set and then you get the, um, a quarter, you get an adapter. These are all magnetic too, obviously. And then you have, you know, just the run of the mill stuff, the, uh, the torque bits, um, you have some of the square hex, a little bit of everything, but nothing really too, nothing really to, you know, uh, write home about. I don't really, you know, I mean, it's, it's decent. Maybe if they had some drills in there too, it might help. But I mean, is this a buy? Yes, but it's not like an enthusiastic buy though. I think it's decent. Again, one thing about this I don't like, it's still moving around. It doesn't sit in there tight. So same with how this is wobbly on here, it doesn't really feel tight. When you combine these together, it's the same exact thing. These are not solid and I don't really love that. But again, like I said before, nothing inside of these is gonna be fragile that like this little movement is not going to do anything. It's just for my for my like OCD, I just don't like I just don't like it. I, I wish that it was more, you know, tight. Now my main goal is to have compartments for all of my bits and fasteners to the point that I don't have to ever empty these out and replace with something else. So if I have finished stuff, I have all my finished nails in here, I can have uh, different, you know, blades for fine tools, that kind of stuff. And I'm never like having to throw anything away. So if I go to concrete, I can have chamfer nails in here, 16 dupes, uh, eight sinkers, that kind of stuff. My main goal is to have everything I need in all of these so that if I'm going on to a job, I can say, okay, what do I need? Okay, I'm doing concrete. Okay, let me give, let me grab my concrete pack out stuff. And that makes things a lot easier. So this pack out system is amazing. I love it. I love the fact that Milwaukee is so innovative. So in conclusion, this is my Milwaukee pack out review. I love these items. I think the cabinets were a great addition. Again, Milwaukee is the most innovative company and they are knocking it out the park. Makita, DeWalt, they're slacking. Everybody else is slacking. I don't even wanna talk about how trash the Makita uh, packout system is. As far as the latches, I have one and I only bought one because it was so garbage. After, after testing it out, I said, never again. So this is worth the price. I love this one right here. This one is just the organizer. The bits, it's like I said before, it's iffy. It's not the best. You might be able to go to Home Depot on a random Tuesday and have a sale where you can get all of these bits for cheaper. So, and again, like I said before, that plastic in there isn't like uh, quality enough to keep these all separated for the long term. So again, I, I still bought it. Um, I don't have any remorse, but would I do it again? Probably not, to be honest with you. So, hope you guys liked the review. Hope this is better than my last Milwaukee Pack Out review. I know I really struggled last time. It was more like just like, hey, look at all the tools I have. I think this might have gave you a proper uh, representation of what you can fit inside of here, what the dimensions are and the cost. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next one. Peace.